The movie starts in 1952 in Romania. Two nuns are shown moving to a room. Their passing by surroundings are strewn with Christian crosses. These indicate that they have fixed them in order to keep demon away from them. The door had a written text in the Latin language finit hic, Deo, which means God ends here. One of the nuns enters the door holding a key in her hand. While going, she advises other nuns, trust in God. The nun standing outside begins to pray while the nun is inside came out soaked in blood. And giving the key to the standing nun outside, she says, you know what to do? Never be a trap of him, because she needs life to come back into this world. Meanwhile, an evil force takes her inside, dragging her. While standing nun outside escapes taking the key, and she is also afraid. She was feeling as if she will also not survive now. She commits suicide asking forgiveness from God. After her death, we notice a demon that had a resemblance to a nun. A boy is shown the next morning named Frenchie. He used to supply edible things to the nun's houses. There he observes the dead body of that suicider nun whom crows are eating while scratching. Then we notice a church father, Burke, who is talking about something with another father in Vatican City. The other fathers reveal while talking that a nun has committed suicide in Romania, and they will have to visit there for the investigation of this case. Sister Irene is also chosen as an investigator. She has still not taken the oath of being a nun. Father Burke and Sister Irene leave for Romania where they meet the food supplier Frenchie. Frenchie declares the fear of villagers going into the nun's house. Even if he himself goes there once in the three months and keeps food there, he immediately returns back. Frenchie refused to go with them at first, then consents to go on the insistence. Frenchie takes them into the ice room where the dead body of the nun had been preserved there. Frenchie is frightened seeing the nun's dead body in the sitting position. He tells Burke that I had laid it down. I did not place her such which is visible. The father finds a key in the dead body's hand and keeps it. As he keeps this key in his possession, a nearer door is knocked on by someone. Then Frenchie tells, it is the same door from where nuns receive their food parcels, so that they may not step outside their door. Father buries that dead body after performing a complete ritual. Meanwhile, another fixed bell on the other grave starts ringing. Then Father Burke reveals to Sister Irene that the dead person in the grave was dead due to disease suffering. The purpose of adjusting the bell on the grave means that if an alive person is buried mistakenly considering him dead, then he can ring the bell to tell about his running breaths. Frenchie takes them to the main gate of the nun's house where he had encountered the nun's dead body. Meanwhile, Father catches sight of a nun in the window. Moving ahead, three of them find the blood of the nun which is still fresh. And this was the incident of two weeks ago. Going to a church, three meet a nun. This nun's face was masked, but her voice was dreadful. That nun asks father and sister to leave. Then Father Burke says that if I leave from here, then the Vatican Church will send other people for investigation. Then this nun asks them to stop at the nearest place, the nun's house, because it was evening, which was their worship time. She also invites them to return the following day because all doors will be closed. Then Father asks Frenchie to leave. He also says he should come here a few days later, and they will carry out their investigation until he comes back. While going back, Frenchie observes a shadow of a nun in the graveyard. Then a devilish nun attacks him, but he rescues his life from that nun running from there. On the other side, father and sister are seen discussing a topic at dinner time. Sister's Irene tells father that she used to see the various type of vision in her childhood. After seeing this vision, she also thinks that Mother Mary will guide her. She tells that the Vatican has been a great support in her childhood, so this is the cause of my visit here. Then father tells Sister Irene about an incident that occurred 20 years ago. That incident took place in France. He tells that once he was exorcising a child who was wounded during this practice. But it may be said regretfully that he was dead a few moments later. Father was sad blaming himself for his death in some way. A transistor is turned on automatically the next night. Its sound awakens Father Burke. While checking, Father Burke notices a shadow of a small child. This child was the same height who was under the exorcism practiced by him. Chasing that child, he comes out of the nun's house. Then Father Burke knows that he is the same child who was exorcised by him. But he is transformed into a demon. Suddenly, a snake attacks Father Burke coming out of the mouth of that child. Father Burke is falling back into the black coffin getting worried. Coffin's box is magically shut burying him alive. He rings the fixed bell on that grave time again and again. Further, Sister is awakened because of the gust of air. Sister Irene also hears the praying whispers and she goes there chasing those sounds. And she is also followed by a demon nun. Sister reaches a church where the sounds of prayers were echoing. She finds a number of nuns there who are praying at that time. She also notices a dark shadow that is dissolved into the looking glass at her backside coming down. 
She is attacked by that demon nun. Consequently, the mirror is broken immediately. Running from there, Sister Irene steps into the graveyard situated at the front where she hears the screaming of Father Burke and the ringing of a bell. And all graves fixed bells start ringing at the first sight. But Sister gets knowledge of the grave where Father Burke is buried by using the power of her vision. A demon attacks Father Burke when Sister is digging the grave to bring him out. But Sister Irene takes him out from the grave before any harm from the demon. Father finds some books in the same grave that he takes. Both move to the nun's house on a coming day. Father Burke gets no response while calling Mother Superior. Contrarily, the inner door is automatically opened. Father hands over the key to Sister which was taken from the dead nun. Father instructs Sister Irene to know the key's lock before her visit inside. Going into the nun's house, Sister Irene observes a nun. She calls her but that nun moves ahead ignoring her. Chasing that nun, Sister enters the church where a nun is busy in worshipping before a Christian cross. Sister Irene calls that nun, but another nun takes her away coming there before the disturbance of worship of that nun. The nun informs Sister Irene, nuns are worshipping in this church for a long time, and the place of each nun keeps changing, and both leave. While taking a drink in the bar, Frenchie comes to know about the suicide of a villager's daughter 12 years old. The bar owner reveals to Frenchie that the cause behind such bad happenings is the cursed abbey which is the place of nuns. Hearing it, Frenchie thinks that the life of father and sister may be at risk. So taking the gun, he leaves the bar. After that, Father Burke who is studying those books. Suddenly the entrance door closed from where Sister Irene entered. Sister Irene exposes to another nun that she had encountered a nun last night. This demonic nun has come from hell according to them. So it may be the cause of the nun's suicide. Meanwhile, the third nun forbids them to talk about it after approaching there. She also asks Sister Irene to leave from here. The other nun says it is the late night. Sister Irene will stay here tonight because all doors have been shut. That nun takes Sister Irene into a room. Father Burke is keenly observing the map of the nun's abbey. Observing the map, he moves to a big hellish hole where he hears the voice of Mother Superior at the exact time. Approaching Mother Superior, Father reveals to her that there are bad happenings that are taking place and also mentions that key. But Mother Superior explains, it is of no use now. While Sister Irene again visualizes as Mother Mary will lead her, she also sees a demonic nun through her vision. At the same time, she awakens and finds a nun in her room. Then the suicide of the nun's vision plays in her mind as she precedes her. At the same time, she comes out as the door of her room opens. While walking, she reaches a door where the written text was God ends here. The door is also opened within a time. Then we notice a demonic nun who attacks Sister scaring her. But Sister runs from there rescuing her life. And another nun protects her coming on the way. Sister Irene steps into the abbey again and notices a worshiper nun there. There is also a lying dead body near her prayer. When Sister Irene uncovers the cloth from a dead body, she finds there the same nun who was conversing with her for a long time and with her till now. Then we see Father Burke's place where the demon comes there disguising itself as the same child who had been exorcised by Father. That demon attacks Father Burke. Father Burke rescues his life while running. It is revealed that the demon is actually a demonic nun who was scaring Father by disguising itself child demon. And a number of nuns enter the church who are worried and upset. One of the nuns requests Sister Irene to pray with them keeping her eyes only on Mother Mary. Then Mother Mary's eyes suddenly bleed. Demon creates a disturbance in the nuns' worship attacking them one by one. But Sister Irene continues her worship. Father Burke again comes to that ice house where a demonic nun attacks him. But Frenchie saves his life reaching there. Demon also attacks Sister Irene during worship drawing a star on her body through enchantment. Then Father and Frenchie also arrive there. Sister tells them that she was worshipping and getting together with the other nuns. But there is no other nun except a dead body as they notice. Uncovering the face of a dead body, Sister is assured that no nun could survive now. They have become the victim of that demon even though this abbey is not holy now. That dead body immediately attacks Father. But he burns the Christian cross sprinkling the holy water on it. Frenchie says to both of them, we have spent time here, it is better to leave now. But Sister Irene refuses to say, she will not leave this place right now. And the suicide of the nun was actually not suicide but a sacrifice. Because that demon nun needed the life of someone to step into this world which it took. She says we need to search for a holy sign to close that hall. And that sign is Jesus Christ's blood. As Father Burke asks, where will that sign be found? She replies that she got the dead body of Mother Superior in the basement. And she also knows the way which leads it. But she says she will have to take an oath to be a nun before going there. 
and then she will be able to accomplish her task. And her visions are divine. Now she was going to devote her life to God. Father feels satisfied with it and Sister Irene takes the oath of a nun. Now she is a nun. Then three of them move to that basement and stop at that place where the Mother Mary statue was situated and was pointing in a particular direction. Seeing it, Father Burke informs Sister Irene that it is your vision indicating Mother Mary will help us. Moving in the pointed direction, they find a door that is opened by Sister Irene using the same key. They find that holy sign which consisted of the holy blood of Christ after opening the door. Father hands over that sign to Sister and moves to that door where the written text creator's help is only till here. Going inside the door, all three move in different directions to reveal the demon's entrance. A demonic nun attacks Sister Irene in her direction. When she runs to rescue herself, she notices a door where she enters. And she also notices the same sign which was drawn by the demon on her body through enchantment. And a number of demonic nuns block her way as she tries to escape from there. And all doors are shut. Frenchy moves towards that door hearing the screaming of sister while the demonic nuns also block the way of father. But making a Christian cross and then setting it on fire, Father Burke escapes from there. Entering that door, Frenchy encounters many demonic nuns. And he also notices Sister Irene fixed in that sign because she was possessed by the demon. The demonic nun disguising Sister Irene attacks Frenchy. And Frenchy overlaps Jesus Christ's blood on the face of Sister Irene, taking it out from his necklace. Then that demonic nun leaves the body of Sister Irene but attacks Frenchy. The demonic nun throws Sister Irene to the other room filled with water when she moves ahead to rescue Frenchy. That demon attacks Father Burke after transforming itself into a child. A coming snake from the mouth of a demon injures the eyes of Father. Sister Irene knows that a holy sign has flown into the water as she tries to come outside the water. Coming out from the water, a demonic nun tries to drown Sister Irene, pushing her down into the water again and again. Father Burke tries to protect her, but the demonic nun throws him far using her evil power. Sister Irene takes that holy sign near her mouth, bringing it from the water. Then Demonic Nun catches sight of that holy sign, but it was empty because Sister Irene had filled her mouth with Jesus Christ's blood. Sister Irene spits that blood from her filled mouth on the face of a Demonic Nun as that Demonic Nun tries to kill her. As a result, the Demonic Nun's existence begins to fade. A few drops are also dripped into the water, causing the water and Demonic Nun to exit through the hole of hell, which is then sealed. And hell's big hole is again closed. The next morning, when three of them are nearly to leave the abbey, then Sister Irene prays there for the last time. She also tells Frenchy that this place is perfectly holy now. Frenchy's neck appears a reverse Christian cross, which indicates that a demonic nun has poured some of her entity into Frenchy. And this movie is also completed here. In the post credit scene, Ed Warren and Lorraine Warren are shown. Ed Warren is delivering a lecture on supernaturalism. They share their supernatural and paranormal experience at a conference where they tell about the Frenchie who is possessed by a nun and a reverse Christian cross is appears in his body. And Carolyn Perrone is also there as a listener. This scene we will see in Conjuring 2013 movie. If you like the explanation, please do subscribe and also like and comment. Thanks for watching.